What kind of goes into the creation of a monster? What's the process there? Each of the monsters in the game has a kind of position within the title. So it's not just a matter of deciding which monster fits in which map, but also taking the game from the start to finish. Where does it slot in? Is it an early, easier monster? Is it a middle rank? Or is it one of the later, tougher ones? And it's also really important to make sure that um, two monsters don't look different but play the same. So from an early stage of each monster's design, we ensure that it's not just providing visual variety, but also gameplay variety to the player. Could you tell us a bit about the inspiration for the game's ecosystems and environments? We take inspiration from a variety of real-world creatures and environments uh, to create Monster Hunter. For the monsters in particular, uh, we want to look at real-world animals as a comparison for, say, things like skeletal structure and bones. So these are fantastical creatures, but we want them to feel believable as if they could really be real animals. So we'll make sure that each one has a kind of design and skeleton that makes sense for the world that it lives in. I've heard that the game director owns a lot of lizards. Does uh, a lot of that go into the creation of the monsters as well, looking at this lizard collection? So our game director, uh, Yuya Tokura, he has a lot of reptile pets. He's got lizards, he's got snakes, and I think that that is one area where he's very uh, knowledgeable. And you can see some of that in the game where it comes to the more reptile or lizard-like animals. You know, there's a certain amount of detail there that you only have from an intimate knowledge of those kind of creatures. So it's been really useful to have someone so informed on the team. Um, this might be a lot of uh, people's first Monster Hunter game. So do you have any kind of top tips to kind of give to new players, newcomers to the series? Shinki. For new players, I would definitely advise in Monster Hunter World to pay attention to the handler characters' tutorial voiceovers. This is the first time we've had fully voiced real language characters in the game. Previous ones have all been in a kind of gibberish, made-up Monster Hunter language. This is a decision we made to make it much smoother for new players. You're not stopping to read reams of text while you're playing. As you're playing in real time, this character is going to advise you on how to proceed during the quest, how to find the monster, how to use the current weapon that you have. They'll even advise you when your health is getting low and you might want to take a break and use some health items. So that's going to be a really important way to get into the game for new players, I think. If you had um, one last message to give to kind of new players, who are thinking about getting in the game, what would you say? For any first-time Monster Hunter players out there who's, for whom World will be their introduction to the series, I think you've got a lot to look forward to. It's a really fun action co-op game using Capcom's industry best know-how and how to create satisfying action. It's a game where you're going to need to learn how to play and get better at it and get a sense of achievement as you overcome hurdles during the game. But don't worry because the Monster Hunter community is really amazing. The experienced veteran hunters out there will be happy to have you join their quests online. You'll be able to learn from them and get better. And then you can also you know, pay it forward. And the next time you're playing and someone less experienced than you comes in, you can help them out too. And uh, the community is really there to help everyone. So don't be worried. Just come in and jump into this amazing world. Okay, so um, you're planning to support this with um, a lot of free DLC post-launch. Um, have you got a lot of that lined up and do you already have kind of firm plans in place of what that's going to be? Monster Hunter World has multiple free DLC updates planned. We've just announced one coming in spring 2018. We are working on the rest of the DLC and once we're ready to talk about more, we'll be announcing a firmer schedule and content, so please watch this space. Do you have a kind of um, firm number of monsters in the base game? Uh, are there going to be dozens? Just a few, hundreds, you know, what kind of numbers are we looking at? As for the number of monsters in the game, it's not like we have hundreds and hundreds. I'd say there's a, you know, there's plenty of monsters in terms of variety for each map in the game. And also the combinations of monsters are really fun to watch. So on any given quest, you may have uh, different interactions between different combinations of monsters. And that is one of the really great and fun parts of the game.